Hey, this is my review on my. It's an old world Bible, it is. It's actually got a zipper, which is working really well now. I just put a little bit of mink oil on it, as well as I've also mink oil the cover. But before I before I even did that, it was actually broken somewhere in the, in the Bible, and I can't find where it was broken. I thought it was somewhere here, but I can't seem to see where it was. Um, yeah, so what I did was I peeled this up, this cover off, peeled it all off, pulled half of it out. This was still stuck here. It was still stuck down on the back. I reinforced the reinforced the the binding. Right, and then glued it all back, nice and straight. And yeah, it's a perfect, pretty good Bible now. There was some writing. They have written some stuff in here. I've just got it covered up. You know, I'll just write notes on that sort of stuff. It's around the 1950s, this Bible. There's not much to it. You've got like a, you know, your front page. Now, it hasn't been worked in that much. So, we're still, I've been using it. It's a great Bible to you know just stick in your bag or stick in your backpack or or even it's even small enough to go into your like cargo pants into your pockets of those it is a world publishing company it is self-pronouncing edition as well a bit more information now well, you've got the order of the order of your your books in your bible in the old and new testament Here you have it in alphabetical order for your Old and New Testament. And here you have the keys to pronunciation. If you want to have a look at that. It is quite a nice dark print on this. There's no references. It's just all text. As you can see, it's not all self-pronouncing. It's just most, some are. You hardly find any self-pronouncing in the New Testament, which I'll show you. See, I'd say the print is around a seven. It's actually a lot more. It's a, it's more. It's a lot bolder than a, than a pit minion. So it's really nice to read. You do have your little subject headings at the top, which I like. And the new pit minions, they don't actually have subject headings at all in them. So this one's. This one has that. I've been looking for something to replace my my pit my old pit minion that I take everywhere with me. So so far I've been using this one. So it, it does have a little bit of water damage on the bottom, but I'm not worried about that. I mean, you can see it with the red. See how it's there. But it hasn't. You can still read the Bible. It hasn't hasn't wrecked it or anything. It's just a bit of bleeding on the with the red. I mean, I'm not worried about that. And plus you've got this really cool zipper with a with a little cross on it. It's only gold plated. And it just slips around. It's not leather or anything, I think it's like a cardboard stuff. But I just put a bit of mink oil on that as well to soften it up. Well just not to soften it up really, just to give it a bit of a protection on it. There are some photos in here too. I'll try and find some for you. There we go. I don't even know what this one is. It does say where they are. There you go. Jacob's well. So, like, there's not a lot in here of these. And normally they make these really, really hard and stiff. They're actually not. They're just a little bit thicker than the normal Bible paper. Hmm. So, I think there's a I think there's a couple in the New Testament. There we go. They're only black and white, but they're not too bad. Like I said, they're not hard cardboard ones. Normally they're hard cardboard ones and they're really they really they're really not good in the Bible, I don't think. But this one's okay. Like I said, they're only a little bit thicker than the paper in the Bible itself. Oops, sorry about that. 
No, they're just actual photographs too. They're not actual, they're not, you know, like prints or something. They're just actual photographs they've taken. So you can see a person here in mon in well, like 50s sort of clothing. Here's another one. Uh, I thought they were quite neat. There we go. Oh, there's no concordance in this. At the end, all you have is like a summary of each book. And I'll show you those. You've got a few pieces of paper for notes at the back as well if you want to. So it just goes to the end. And here you've just got a brief summary of each book of the Old and New Testament. So you've got Genesis there. And it goes all the way down. And then you also have the New, the New Testament one as well. Like I said, I'm still trying to... This still needs to be a little bit loosened up and more thin. But we'll get there with it. Also, too, this bottle... It, could, it was worth fixing this bottle because it also has overcast stitching in it, as you can see. So it was definitely worth fixing, even if it has got a little bit of water damage on it, it's still quite usable. And like I said, I'm using this now as, a, as my carry bottle. Mm. So, and the print is really, really, really sharp in this. Alright, well that's my review of my World Bible. It is a KJV, if anyone needs to ask. 1950s of course. So you just got Holy Bible and World down there. Holy Bible illustrated. There's not that many illustrations in it, so. And there's nothing on the back. And they've seen better days. You know, a bit battered and round and stuff, but. You know, I like bubbles like that. And I like using bubbles like this. So. Well, that's my review. And thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. God bless.